Hello everyone. Today I wish to talk about ink and paint inside Toon Boom Harmony, but this also can cover any other vector ink and paint software package. The reason why I use Toon Boom Harmony for this example is the previous artist has used Harmony for the tie down, and that is the process from the rough sketch to tying it down. And the next step in this process will be doing the ink line. This takes a little bit of practice, so I want to talk about it here on YouTube and try to get some questions and answers solved for those who are interested in the inking process. One of the things that will help is to have either a very large tablet or a large uh, tablet display, either by Wacom or by Sense Labs. The other tablet manufacturers will probably work as well, but you need to have something that will let you do broad strokes. Now, Harmony does have a pencil line smoother. Uh, so does OpenTunes. So does other software such as Krita. But because Vectorline allows you to do precise line placement, that's why I prefer either Harmony or OpenTunes because of the ability to go frame by frame to precisely lay the line out where it should be in the frame. So let me just open it up and show you some example. So let me just open up Toon Boom Harmony and show you an example that I'm working on. And this is um, the first technique that I want to discuss is called consistency. The line must be consistent frame by frame throughout the production. So once you agree upon a line thickness, a line style, and a line color, You have to keep it consistent throughout the entire production. So for this example, the line thickness, I have to save in my file and then share it with others that want to also work on it with ink and paint. If you use a line in Toon Boom Harmony, then you have to stick with Toon Boom Harmony. If you use a line in OpenTunes, you stick with that ink and paint line in OpenTunes. And if you do it inside Photoshop or Krita, you just have to keep the same consistency throughout all the frames, throughout all the computers, so that way it looks the same and there's no uh, glitches or hiccups between um, the lines and it will be noticeable, of course. So if you have a meeting uh, it's important to share files, including the palettes the lines, the pencil tools, all that. The technical director's job is to keep these lines consistent and making sure everyone is updated with the right palettes, line styles through all the, uh, throughout all the projects or productions of a series. And in this case, we just wanna keep a very simple line. So we use Toon Boom Harmony and we keep the line style within the file so we can reuse it and share it. The second thing that you want to do is practice and try to get all the pieces of the character down, making sure you have knowledge of all the elements that you're going to be ink lining and actually understand the lines that you read. You're gonna to have to center them out, making sure that at least your line is in the center of it and where the weight should be. So for example, if I'm in the hair and the hair is flowing from left to right, I'm going to center my line in the middle of that hair, but also understand that if there's going to be a need where it's going to lean a little bit to the left or to the right, I'll make sure of that weight. So I try to make sure I understand the clothes, the cloth, the character's uh, hair, face line, and as well as the as well as the solid objects such as the sword and the shield. Those cannot have any bend or any wobble. They are solid metal or solid wood. So as I draw my lines for those objects, I will check frame by frame, making sure that they don't have any bend to them. They are solid pieces of, uh, they are solid objects. So they would have straight lines and not any curve lines in them. So that's why, again, I usually lean to Toon Boom Harmony or Open Tunes in order to make straight lines very fast. And then I can quickly go move to curve lines for the soft body parts, hair, clothing, uh, skin, and so on. 
And even though I don't need to weight my lines or give them line weight just yet, but I understand the difference between a solid straight line is for the solid objects and curved flowy lines will be for the uh, softer body parts or softer character parts. Now I have my pen line weight set up so that I don't have to change it. So So now I have my pen line weight set up and also I have a bit of smoothness to it. So that way it's like an anti shake, but it gives me enough leeway so that way I can go ahead and place the line on a curve without minimal fixing using the contour tool. So that's the same thing if I was using open tunes. I would make sure I would use my line uh, mostly with the anti shake, but not too strong. So that way I can give it some curve and some depth and then as well, go ahead and do straight lines if I need to. So it's really nice to have it with Harmony or Open Tunes because those are generally used with uh, any scanning. And I'm gonna talk about that in a second. So as I go ahead and do my frame by frame ink line, the next thing I would do is check it through either Onion Skin or basically a line test. And I like to see 